VRChat has always been such a magical place for many of us here. Each year brings new memories and so far, 2023 has been amazing. We often like to recall the good times, the past, so let's take a nostalgic trip together as I share my stories and talk with many others about their fondest memories. If you end up enjoying this video, consider liking and subscribing for more. Also, thanks for the many encouraging comments. It's fueled me to keep on doing what I enjoy. Anyways, let's start with the video. In 2017, I saw a VR chat video pop up in my YouTube recommendations. It only took moments for me to be impressed as I had no idea virtual reality had come this far. Fast forward to 2023, I have over 5,000 hours of memories. I can still recall my first days of VR chat and there is even footage of my first day on when I was in desktop mode. All right, we're, we're gonna play I Spy, dude. I Spy a green fuck in this room. What the there's, fuck? There's multiple. As for my fondest memories, there are just so many. From starting my day in the old hub, or the 2017 hub, to meeting interesting people in the presentation room, checking out all the wonderful classics like Capture the Flag and Steel and Gold, gathering my friends to play in my old world, the Archat Werewolf, to taking naps midday in Cafe LeBlanc or the Glass House. Spending every new year with all of my friends eager to make more memories. I could seriously go on forever. I will never be able to thank VRChat or my friends enough for the countless memories I've gotten to experience. I gathered a few people to have them explain their fondest memories in VRChat. And some are tied to worlds, some are just in general. Let's check it out. I have, a, I have a, a lot of fond VR chat memories, uh, but the one that is like the number one spot that can't be replaced is uh, my first like real experience, like actually trying out VR or VR chat. Um, so there's this one in 2000, like late 2019, I was going through a lot of shit and uh, I randomly woke up at 2 a.m. and I had downloaded VR chat previously for whatever fucking reason. I was like, I'm gonna boot up this game. But for, I don't know why, like, and uh, I joined a random instance of uh, this world, which it used to look a lot different back in the day. Um, and I kind of did that thing where like, I don't even know if it's like a, you do it when you're new in VR, but like, you just start like talking to people you don't know and telling really personal things. But I was also going through it, so I just wanted to talk to people. Um, so then this one guy comes up, uh, his name was Jin, and he overheard me talking about Boba and he's like oh dude are you talking about Boba I love Boba and uh we're of course we're both desktop users at the time and uh he sits next to me and we start like just talking about life and stuff it's really crazy because now he's like like the closest friend I have in my life right now and like we've been through a lot together but it's it's crazy that night like to think that like one night changed like a lot in my life like that guy's been there for me a lot and it's just like it's just weird I never thought like around that time i'd ever play this game or get so into it or like it, it changed a lot but we, we just started like talking about our problems i told them like a lot of stuff i was going through and like i think it's been like maybe almost four years now since then and um like that, that guy's like a brother to me dude i fucking love that guy uh i also remember i can i can never forget it because of the song but we met uh it was the the 21st night of september it's it's a really like fond memory I have uh we've been through a lot so the memories I have here with VR chat gosh there is honestly a lot of them honestly probably one of the biggest ones comes from this world all itself whenever I'm not even gonna lie about it. There's times I've been hitting dark spells and whatnot, and coming to this place was one of the few tranquil things that helped me find Zen. That's the beauty about this place. We 
in the regular society don't really have a lot of places of time to just escape from. People that love reading, people that play video games and such, we go to those places to escape from the reality that tortures us, me included. But VR, everything else that I have, gave me something like this. Somewhere to sit and think, clear my mind, bring friends in and just make memories. And that's one of the things that I cherished about here. It's phenomenal, it's beautiful, sometimes downright silly, but I always have a place at my heart. I've been here since 2018, and I know I resume myself really stopping. A long time ago, me and like my first friend group in this game, right? We would just talk for literal hours in this mirror. I would be standing here, someone else would be there, someone else would be there, there. They, they would be everywhere, you know? I'm talking about like, we talk from literal 4 p.m. to 5 a.m., like that long. And it was some of the best times I've had. Another one of my favorite moments here was, you know, I was talking to, to another person, right? And I swear, we, we saw someone in that corner over there. I don't know if we're going crazy, but we saw some in that corner. It's kind of scary, actually. Now that I think about it. I made jokes about the creator joining private lobbies. So when it comes to my fondest memories in VR chat, it's, it's a little bit scatterbrained, kind of like how myself is like, I sort of remember the little things when it comes to like just smaller interactions in VR chat. So for example, like those early public worlds, uh, as for map specific ones, I've never really had like a consistent map that I stay in, uh, except for this one, which I quite enjoyed for sleeping in for a long time. But if I had to say one of my most fondest memories, it was in my first week or so of finally getting uh, uh, VR itself in late 2020, early 2021. So essentially there was this guy who I think went by the Ukrainian mafia or something. And essentially he was this thick, like Slavic accent guy who like played the ukulele if i'm not mistaken he was like an extremely like awesome dude and like it was both our first day in like vr so it was two people trying to adjust themselves of course you know wearing goofy avatars because that's sort of how you start out in vr chat you just find the worst and probably most annoying avatars you could find but then you sort of grow into your own shoes so essentially we just like hung out for like a couple hours and stuff while he played like songs on the ukulele uh, a lot of them were like rock heavy I quite remember he played some Metallica songs even on them which was extremely funny hearing it on a ukulele but it was very well made and very well done so essentially we would just kind of like hang out uh quite a few times after that uh unfortunately like most vr friendships and stuff you often kind of like you know hang out with some people for like a week and unless you keep like consistently dating with that person it kind of like vanishes over time but as far as i know he has not been like online in like at least a year or two uh, with absolutely no activity to be discovered. So I'm, I'm assuming that during like the whole war situation in like Ukraine right now, that it played a major role into why he's currently not online. Uh, it's very devastating, but it's also, you know, just something that sort of happens when it comes to a game like this. I had my first big, wow, this is a cool community moment in VRChat when I just randomly joined the world. 
and there was active RP without there being any like RP group or anything, it was just people having fun. And it was the most batched insane RP that they had so far, and it not it has not been replicated since then that it was here. Because it was people just doing the Yakuza shtick, so to speak. What you know, the games are like what inspired me to just go back into VR chat and come back to the spot because maybe you know it might happen again. Last update on this was back in we have June where we, yeah. we had the last gather up and it's like you can people started being able with fist bone collides to pull off their shirt. I mean this is a full thing with health bar working system and everything. Injuries, etc. Oh wow. If you know about the games, they have style switching and when I have colliders around me, I can just tap a collider and switch style. Oh, that is actually sweet. <laughs> There's a lot of memories to sift through here. Um, I think honestly my fondest memory of this world actually is uh, one of my old friend groups. Most of the people don't get on anymore. But we were all having a get together um, and a person that I hadn't seen in a very, very long time, like since 2017, decided to join in and, uh, you know, join in on the festivities. Um, <laughs> He ended up coming in this, uh, I think it was like a really poorly rendered Leon avatar from like Resident Evil 4. Comes around screaming for Anna, and I didn't know who it was at that point. I was sitting there, I was looking, I was like, man, who is this crazy person? Um, but when I looked at his nameplate, I was like, oh my god, I haven't seen you in forever. He goes, yeah, man, it's been a while. Um, we ended up catching up here, talked for several hours. Uh, had a really deep conversation with him and um we ended up just talking about life stuff talking you know philosophy all that kind of stuff and that was one of my one of the times that i've really enjoyed this game really enjoyed talking with someone and all that and, you know because he that day i was having a really it was a, it wasn't a great day for me he came in and he you know he kind of cheered me up and that that was you know pretty cool of him because I didn't see him for a couple of years at that point and to see him come back in and you know instantly know hey he's not having a good time you know let's let's make sure he's you know at least okay that you know it brought a lot of it brought me and him a little bit closer in our friendship and you know having that conversation with him and talking with him for a couple hours it really solidified that you know I've made the right choice and all it you know all of this time I'm sitting here I'm having friend group after friend group and he's the one that stuck by the most of the uh, most of my ride through this game um, and you know we <laughs> going on that memory actually we ended up talking about the, the back backdrop here and everything and about how you know it'd be cool for us to be able to go down into the ocean and see all the wildlife and stuff like that. Um, we ended up forming a plan <laughs> together to meet up at some point in our life. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen now, but we had formed that and, you know, during that whole conversation. And honestly, I looked at him that day and I told him, dude, you made my day. Um, I said, this is probably going to be a memory that sticks with me for a very long time and he's like no nah, I didn't do anything that significant but you know to me that was probably the highlight of that day it was it was a really good memory it was awesome to know that people you know that I'm that I haven't seen in a while that don't quite remember me will still come in and go out of their way to make me feel better about something or help me lift my spirits or something like that you know it's at the end of the day that's really why I get on here and you know, form memories like that, form memories that, you know, last a lifetime. This truly has been a wonderful journey and one I am glad to be a part of. 
The community, the friends I have made since 2017, I will never forget them. Virtual reality is something that interests me greatly, and I cannot wait to continue to make more memories. Please share your fondest memories in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. If you enjoyed the video, please consider checking out my other videos and possibly leaving a like. As always, have a great one.